Just when you thought your garden snake was intimidating, scientists have uncovered a serpent that could make your python look like a worm. Imagine, if you will, a snake of colossal proportions stretching 15 meters in length, its size rivaling that of a T-Rex. Welcome to the world of Vasuki indicus, the largest snake ever discovered. This serpentine titan wasn't found lurking in the depths of the Amazon, but rather unearthed from the fossil-rich soils of Gujarat, India. But Vasuki indicus didn't slither its way into our time. No, this behemoth hails from the Eocene Epoch, a time when Earth was teeming with strange and wonderful creatures some 47 million years ago. Vasuki indicus, a name that resonates with the grandeur of this creature, belonged to the extinct Matsoidae family, a lineage of snakes known for their impressive size. But even within this family of giants, Vasuki stands out. Its size and stature a testament to the incredible diversity and scale of life in our planet's past. So, next time you're complaining about that garter snake in your backyard, remember, it could be a 15-meter terror from the past. If you're wondering how this slithering behemoth lived, well, let's just say it wasn't sunning itself on a rock all day. Picture a creature so vast, it would make the anacondas of today look like garden worms. Yes, we're talking about the Vasuki Indicus, who lived a terrestrial lifestyle akin to these modern serpents. Living in a world far removed from ours, 47 million years in the past, this colossal creature thrived in the warm climate of what is now Gujarat, India. The region, rich in diverse fauna, provided the perfect hunting ground for Vasuki Indicus. But what exactly was on the menu for this prehistoric predator? Now, this is where things get interesting. Researchers are still trying to piece together the diet of Vasuki indicus, but it's safe to say that it wasn't living on a diet of small rodents like our domesticated friends today. Instead, it's believed this gargantuan snake preyed on creatures like rayfish, bony fish, turtles, crocodilians, and yes, even primitive whales. Imagine the strength and agility required to bring down such massive prey. Speaking of strength, let's take a moment to appreciate the muscle structure of Vasuki indicus. Much like its modern counterparts, this snake would have been a powerhouse of muscle, each contraction and release propelling it forward in a rhythmic dance of predatory prowess. The sheer size of Vasuki indicus suggests it was a slow-moving ambush predator, using its enormity and strength to overpower its prey rather than relying on speed. So next time you see a snake slithering through your garden, spare a thought for its prehistoric cousin. Picture it lying in wait, muscles coiled and ready to strike in the warm, lush landscape of ancient India. And remember, while your pet snake might enjoy a nice mouse for dinner, Vasuki indicus was probably chowing down on prehistoric whales. Talk about an upgrade. But what's the big deal about a giant snake, aside from the fact that it could eat your car? It's all about evolution, baby. The discovery of Vasuki indicus, this serpentine giant, is not just another science headline. It's a key that unlocks doors to our understanding of prehistoric wildlife and snake evolution. It's a glimpse into a world that existed 47 million years ago. A world where snakes the length of a school bus slithered their way through a warm tropical climate. Now let's talk about Titanoboa, another giant extinct snake. Titanoboa and Vasuki indicus never met. They never slithered under the same sun, yet they share striking similarities. This brings us to a fascinating concept in evolution, convergent evolution. This is a process where unrelated or distantly related organisms independently evolve similar traits as a result of adapting to similar environments or ecological niches. In the case of Vasuki indicus and Titanoboa, they both evolved to become giants of their time, despite living in different epochs and continents. They were both slow-moving ambush predators, likely preying on large creatures that roam their habitats. But why would such evolution occur? Well, their size was likely influenced by the climate, with higher temperatures allowing for larger growth. Imagine that, a climate so warm it allowed snakes to grow longer than a T-Rex. The discovery of Vasuki indicus, the largest snake ever found, is a testament to the wonders of evolution. It sheds light on how species can adapt and thrive in their environments, even if those environments are separated by millions of years. It seems size really did matter in the snake world, just ask the Titanoboa and Vasuki indicus. 
But this isn't just a tale of snake eat snake. This discovery is shaking up our understanding of ancient ecosystems. So let's delve a bit deeper. The size of Vasuki Indicus was a direct result of the climate in which it lived. Higher temperatures allowed for larger growth. Imagine a world so warm that it could support a snake longer than a school bus. This is a stark reminder of the powerful influence climate has on the evolution of species. The colossal size of this prehistoric serpent implies that the ancient ecosystem of India was vastly different from what we see today. A creature of such magnitude would have had a significant impact on its environment. It would have been a top predator feasting on turtles, crocodilians, and even primitive whales. This suggests a rich, diverse, and thriving ecosystem teeming with life forms that could support such a gargantuan predator. Moreover, the discovery of Vasuki Indicus has opened a new chapter in the study of convergent evolution. Despite being from different time periods and continents, Vasuki and its South American counterpart, Titanoboa, show striking similarities. This points to similar environmental conditions that drove the evolution of these gigantic serpents. This revelation not only reshapes our picture of India's ancient ecosystem, but also prompts us to ponder over the interconnectedness of life, environment and evolution. It's a vivid reminder of how changing climates can sculpt the course of life on Earth. So, the next time you complain about the heat, remember, at least it's not breeding 15-metre snakes. So, there you have it, folks. The tale of Vasuki Indicus, the snake that makes the anaconda look like a garden variety pest. This titan of a serpent, stretching up to 50 feet in length, is an unprecedented discovery that has turned our understanding of prehistoric wildlife on its head. Imagine, if you will, a world where snakes the size of school buses roamed the earth, ruling the land and the waterways. That's the world Vasuki Indicus called home. This discovery has allowed us to peer back through the mists of time to an era some 47 million years ago when these giant serpents thrived. The Vasuki Indicus, belonging to the extinct Matsoidae family, lived a life not dissimilar to modern anacondas, but on a much grander scale. It was a slow-moving ambush predator, making its home in the warm tropical climates of what is now Gujarat, India. The size of these serpents was influenced by the climate, with higher temperatures allowing for larger growth. It's a fascinating glimpse into the ancient ecosystem of India and how climate played a role in the evolution of these giant snakes. And speaking of evolution, this discovery also sheds light on the movement and evolution of snakes across different continents. It's a testament to the sheer adaptability and survival instincts of these creatures. From the giant Vasuki and Titanoboa of the prehistoric era to the diverse array of serpents we see today, snakes have continued to evolve and adapt to their surroundings. Now isn't that something to hiss about? So remember, the next time you see a snake, give it some respect. It could be the descendant of a prehistoric monster. Feeling a little more appreciative of your garden snake now, are you? This discovery of Vasuki Indicus, a snake as long as a school bus, is an earth-shattering revelation in the world of paleontology. It's a tale that needs to be told, a story that needs to be shared. So, why not be the one to share it? Keep the conversation slithering along in your circle. And in the meantime, don't forget to slither on over to that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more mind-blowing discoveries. Trust us, it's more fun than finding a 15-meter snake in your backyard.